It is Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. It's my agent, Simone. Smokey Joe is in the building. Smoke How you Joe feeling? The I'm doing all right. How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling good. You know, like, we're here. You here with your Braves jersey on. You repping the A. You got the grill in. You looking real Atlanta. You know, you from South Atlanta. Talk about what that's like, you know, what was that like growing up? Southwest Atlanta. Um, you know, it was, it was kind of tough out there. It's but, tough. you know, but it was some lessons to be learned. You know, it taught me. A lot of lessons. Like, of lessons. you can give us one that you don't. Mind sharing. I know. I know what tough means, but I got one. Mind your business. You know, <laughs> so look, but you know that's what I had to learn outside. You know, mind your business. But it's good that you actually, you know, use that as to, to just transpire into a great career. So correct, correct. You know, you work with some of the greats, some of the ATL legends. Who is your favorite artist to work with so mm. far? Well, well, all on, all on, really. But mm. but Kujo, you know, he been working with me. You know, yeah, Shout and out like Yandro. What's what's the vibe when you know when y'all collaborate? Like, how do you know? You know, it's it's so crazy being an artist because there's so many different energies that you have to combine and make work when you get into the studio or if when you're on that stage together. You know, like what's the energy like when you finally find that person that you just could collaborate with? Mm, well, it's it's it's, gonna, it's it's high energy because uh, first of all, B Young Dro mm -hmm. and Ti, you know, Good and Mob, you know, a lot of them come from. The apartment's called Windrum, where I'm from. Okay. You know, it's on the southwest Atlanta side, so I was raised up around them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, they basically taught me. It, and it's, it's just a natural connection. Yeah, it was a natural connection. Right? Yeah, I love yeah. it. Now, you remind me so much, and you are, really. Like, there's, t there's two different versions of Atlanta. You got the old Atlanta, you got the new Atlanta. Now, what do you miss most about the old Atlanta? Because, obviously, that's the era where you come from, where you come from, like, the real, like, when Atlanta was in its prime. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, well, the old Atlanta, well, well, the old Atlanta, you know. Well, you know, well, I like everything about the old Atlanta. You know, I miss the old Atlanta, period. You know, it wasn't that many um, traffic cameras. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't that many traffic cameras. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't yeah. that many traffic cameras. Okay. You know? It mean like we don't have events anymore, like Freak Nick. We don't have, Especially everybody Freak used Nick. to hang at Underground. Like, we don't have that stuff, like. You know, what is one of those things you used to do in just the old days that you feel oh. like you wish Atlanta could bring back? Well, Freak Nick, you know, um, Central Station. In Central Station. <laughs> Central Station, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. What was your craziest Central Station moment? Well, I think it was when <laughs> Jeezy and Gucci walked in there at the same time. Wow. what You got to see that with your, with, with your own two eyes. You got to see that. Yeah, yeah. They walked in together. Like, that's when they were, like, cool. When they did, what was that? So Icy? When that yep, was out. Yep, that's right. You know, my mama happened to be in there. I didn't know she was in there. What? <laughs> sure enough. You got in trouble? <laughs> uh, no, nah, I kind of left kind of early, though, but no. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> well, shout out to Central Station, man. Rest in peace to all the great moments. Now, how do you feel about the new culture, the new Atlanta right now? Like, with all the different, it's a different sound for sure. Number one, it's a different sound, but it's still respected. How do you feel about it? Oh, I respect it. You know, first of all, I'm a part of it. I am it. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, I gotta respect it. You know the way the way it's going. You mm -hmm. know, like who are trying some to bring something new to the table too as well. You know, of course. Like who are, who would you say? You know, outside of yourself, who would you say are some of the ones that you like respect the most with the new Atlanta culture? Like some of the artists. Mm, well, the new Atlanta. Well, you got you got Young Bookie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's pretty good. That, yeah. He Westside, right? Yep. He Westside. Okay. Yep. He's still going. Um. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, you got a lot of rappers that transfer from the old Atlanta to the new to the um new Atlanta. New sound, yeah. Yeah, so you got you know like young, young Dro, he's still going. Yeah, because he was he was at, he but see Dro is versatile. Like he did like you know he he was actually popping during that futuristic era. Correct. Then he was actually able to transpire into the next. Like he's I think he can fit in any era as long as he get in that studio and he remains consistent. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So how would you describe your sound if someone said what does Smokey Joe sound like? How would they describe it? Because I, I like your music, but if you just had to explain to other people. It's some, it's different. You know, it's, it's not like everybody else because I had time to sit back and study everything. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure I come different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it, it's something different, but you, it still fit in with everything. And with different, you bring a lot of feel-good music, like party music. Why would Correct. you choose that over, you know, like any other type of music that's out there? That's, a, that's the other thing. That's another thing about old Atlanta, mm -hmm. trying to keep that alive, keep it going. Because, you know, Freak Need Days, yeah. that's one. You know, you can stop at the red light right there and have a whole party right there, <laughs> you know. Right. I love that. Now, who is your favorite? I asked you already, who is your favorite artist to work with? 
um, what kind of, with you creating party music, what's something, a, a dream collab or somebody that you feel that you want to work with in regards to that? Like, who would be, right now in today's time, who would be on that party hit? Right now, I want to go R&B now. Okay. But uh, but it, it, it got to be Fabo. Oh, Fabo is a good one. And I saw Fabo perform recently. Yeah, he got a lot of energy. When I t- he was at our Who's Hot um, um, event last year before Birthday Bash. And when I tell you he right. got on that stage, he got a lot of energy. And he actually did come out to Birthday Bash, too. Um, the crowd is like it, he never missed a beat. He's still very relevant. He still can get you to get up and dance. And it don't Correct. even matter what song. You know. Shout out to Birthday Bash. Yeah, shout out so, to Birthday Bash. It's, going up. It, it's definitely going up. You going? Yeah, I'm going. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get on stage too as well. Look, I heard that Hot 107.9 is your favorite station. Yeah, it is. So this is the real test. What was your favorite birthday bash moment of all of them? When um when Good and let Pastor Troy come on stage. Oh, okay, okay. And then you know, like just birthday bash as a culture, like what do you look uh, look forward to the most in regards to that? As far as what I plan on doing for the culture. <laughs> look, look, you speaking into existence. I hear you. What you plan on doing at birthday bash? Oh, uh, you know, turn it up. If I can, you know, turn it up, you know, bring that energy, that new energy. Yeah. You know, that new sound. If you had to have your own set right now, we like Smokey Joe, the Smokey Joe set. You got seven minutes. Who I'm you bringing out? Oh, uh, I got, I got <laughs> to bring Fable and Dro out. Fable and Dro. And you. Oh, yeah, that's going to be nice. I love that. Cujo. Cujo. I love that. Um, now let's talk about this record, Jamaica, because mm-hmm. you put out this song and, and like I said, it's party music. It has a different sound to it, but it's still very like catchy. I would definitely put it in and listen to it on the way to work or in a, when I'm in a car. Appreciate talk it. about the process of creating that record. Oh, me and my little cousin at the time, he was 13. Mm-hmm. Shout out to TJ. Me and my little cousin TJ made the beat. Okay. Yeah. But he actually made it, um, for a church. Mm-hmm. But it, but it ended up I ended up using it for you know for parties. Wait, that was a church record before. I mean, what you mean use it for a church? Like he 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 works within the church, so okay. he, he actually make instrumentals and stuff like oh, that. Oh, so. okay. He made it for a church, but it ended up you end up taking that beat, saying, "Ah, oh, I could use this for this." Correct. I love that. Shout so how do you that. how do you go about picking your beats though? Um, well, it depends on you know what how the beat make me feel, mm-hmm. and what I think was was needed next. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, picking your beat selection, your producers. Who's your, who's been your favorite producers to work with? Um, I plan on working with Zayto. He's okay. one of my favorite. Producers. Wait, you planning on working with him? Or are you? On. Oh, you plan on? Yeah, okay, I plan on. okay. Yep. And how? Yeah. What are we gonna do to make that happen? Uh, I'm gonna hit him in that DM. <laughs> you know, I'm try to make, make sure you uh, answer those DMs. He coming. <laughs> yep. He already hit me too, so I, just, I told him I gotta get it together. Now the single that you're pushing, you're you're gonna push Jamaica for a minute. Did you already shoot the video for it? It's coming coming soon, two weeks. Coming soon in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Um, are you gonna drop a remix to it? Uh, yeah. If somebody want to get on it. If somebody want to get on it. Yeah. Who's your? Who would you? Who would be your dream person to get on that record? Got to be Beanie Man. Oh, Beanie Man. Oh wow. You know he just came out. Um, Nicki Minaj just brought him out, so right, he, right. he might be he might be able to spin the block and you know hit right. him and get him on there. Right, right, right. That'd be dope. Right. So I'm trying to span a little bit, you know. Mm-hmm. But still keep it alone. And speaking of uh, speaking of expanding, what else are you trying to do as far as growth? Like outside of you know pushing this Jamaica record, shooting your video. What else are you working on? What else can we look forward to? I'm working for I'm working on the Zone for Business merch. Okay. Yep. So I'm planning on working on the merch, getting the merch together now. The pants, the clothes, the you know the clothes for women and little girls, little boys, men. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody really. Yeah, and if we want to keep up with you, if people want to follow you, they want to stream your music, if they want to just follow your journey, tell everybody where they can do that. It's M O K Y Smokey Joe. Smokey Joe. Uh, Zone Four Business. Zone uh, Four Business. Zone with the number four business. Okay. All together. 